Hello, and here's my very first resource pack, the Gay Bees Pack. This file was put together and coded by yours truly, and the textures were all made by me and my friend Relio. This resource pack gives every bee spawned naturally in the world or by a player a random pride flag theme design. There are 14 different bee designs, not including the default yellow and brown bee, which has also been retextured slightly. These bees don't just have the pride colors slapped onto their model. They have shade. They have depth. They have soul. They also, of course, change to fit the angry and pollinate state. Now, you can have a random selection of angry, prideful bees, but what if you specifically want to have a swarm of non-binary insects? Well, you can do that too, using name tags. Just name the bee the flag you want, according to the list in the README file in the resource pack folder. Pay attention to lowercase and uppercase characters, as the naming is case sensitive. There are also honey bottles and honeycombs, which can be named in an anvil with the same names you would use for the bees. You can't collect these items naturally or from a specific type of bee, you just have to use an anvil to see the alternate textures. Finally, the beehive, bee nest, honey, and honeycomb blocks all have a random chance to be rainbow textured. This is based on the location they are placed in the world, so picking up a rainbow block does not guarantee it will be rainbow when you put it back down. However, from a bit of testing, if you find a location which has a rainbow texture and place any of those four blocks in that spot, it will be the rainbow variant, and I believe that happens all the time. This works the same for the default appearance. To support all these features, the pack does require Optifine or OptiFabric. Running the resource pack without it will only give you the random rainbow variants of the blocks, but no pride flag bees or items. This resource pack is compatible with other resource packs. Here I'm using Mizuno 16. Just make sure that the B resource pack is above any other packs you're using so that you still see the default versions of the B items and blocks added in the B pack. I'm currently not open to adding more flag designs to the pack, just because I'm about to be busy with another Minecraft project soon. But maybe in the future, if I get enough requests for other flags, I will release an updated version. Let me know in the comments what you think of this pack, and if you find any bugs of the non-striped variety, please comment those as well. Thank you all for watching, Pyre out.